probably 10 years ago into it and we sort of stopped looking. And then um, we met somebody from SunPower. And, you know, they were talking about their panels and how efficient they were and things. And so we thought, well, maybe it's time to run the numbers again. And we sort of ran the numbers again and it looked like it was something we could, we could do. Tolosa Winery, with two locations in San Luis Obispo and San Miguel, is equipped with two solar installations at each location. They were completed in 2009. Both installations were done by San Jose-based solar power company, SunPower. We have two completely different systems in, very different weather pattern. The system, our larger system we put in is a flat panel system that sits on the ground, a one megawatt, and our smaller system, the 534 kilowatt, is a, a tracking system. But our tracking system is the same as the one they put in, the one they're working on in California Valley. California Valley Solar Ranch is one of over 15 new large-scale solar projects under construction in California. Currently, the state has only one completed solar plant over 25 megawatts. The measurement refers to the amount of energy the plant can produce at high noon on a cloudless day if every cell is receiving sunlight. The United States has eight completed projects of the same scale. California Valley promises to be much larger. So at California Valley Solar Ranch, we are building a 250 megawatt power plant that will be our Oasis power plant technology, which is our one sun panels, that is our conventional panels, the same ones you could put on a house, that go on a tracker that move from east to west over the course of the day to maximize the amount of sunlight that gets turned into electricity. For sun power, it always makes sense to track because in fact you can get um, 25 to 30 percent more energy out of the very same solar panel over the course of a day by tracking the sun. Pacific Gas and Electric is paying for the power plant in a 25-year contract that will offer all of the electricity generated by California Valley into the Northern California power grid. The purchase is due to California's renewable portfolio standard, which states that electricity companies must have 33 percent of their total energy obtained from renewable sources by the year 2020. But where does all the electricity go? Electricity um, operates a lot like water from a theoretical perspective. So um, wherever you're injecting it, it gets used by the nearest loads. So the probability that my solar system on my house makes it past the end of my street is very low. If I'm generating more than I need, it's going essentially into my neighbor's houses. Now, California Valley Solar Ranch, all of the electricity comes out into, through a substation and onto the transmission grid. And again, it'll end up serving San Luis Obispo and Kern counties first. And to the extent that there's electricity beyond what the load is there, it'll keep moving uh, north, south, east, and west uh, until it finds load to serve. Blunden described the capabilities of solar power plants over typical gas and oil power plants. The things that are really nice about PV from a utility perspective is that, number one, it's abs the light is ubiquitous. Anywhere on Earth you're going to be able, as long as there's sunshine, you can make power. It's also entirely modular, which is a really important point. We had a utility that wanted to have 25 megawatts in one location and 10 megawatts in another. You can't take a gas plant and chop it up. You can chop up a PV power plant at literally any scale you want. So very different than how one of the reasons that utilities have um, kind of taken to solar as quickly as they have is that it's got a lot of features that are kind of unique and attractive relative to how they usually procure power plants.